Hi, this is Chris. Today I'm doing part two of my loose leaf junk journal. Uh, in part one I showed how I selected the book boards and covered them inside and out. And in this episode I show how I finish that up and install the mechanism and I make some pages. This isn't about decorating the book, it's about assembly of the book. So if you would like to try making a loose leaf binder, uh, this is the video. This one and part one. I'll put a link to part one in the end cards and in the description below. Let's do it! What I'm going to do today is finish the outside. I got some stains by Patty Pockets and I'm going to um, cover with that and then my neighbor Robin. Hi Robin! She invited me over to do some jelly printing. It was my first time to do jelly printing and I'm really happy with uh, how they came out. Uh, I'll just flip through them real quickly. So my idea is to um, use one of these for the inside cover, but obviously it's not big enough. So I'm going to scan a couple of these and then print them out larger and see if I can uh, make them fit. If not, then maybe I'll do a collage. I think this will probably this will probably work. I really like the deep orange of that. First, I'm going to go ahead and give this a coat of. Um, stains by Patty Pocket. This is my first time using this product. I've seen others use it. Uh, most recently uh, Gail Agustinelli was using it. And I'm not sure what it's made out of. It feels sort of like glue. A very thin glue that's got a stain in it. And I tried it out on this piece of paper. This is 28 pound printer paper and it's coffee dyed, uh, printed with the image and then coffee dyed. And so this is where I put um, the stains by Patty Pockets. Here I put it on and I just brushed it straight. And you can see it leaves a brush mark and then here I just randomly brushed it and it still leaves brush marks but in kind of a pattern. Let's do it! It doesn't have any instructions. I'm sure she did a video on how to use it but I haven't come across that yet. It's a little bit sticky so I, I can see how you could use it. Um, the same way you might use Mod Podge. So it did leave some like little bubbles that I, I brushed those out, but then I'm thinking, well, that might kind of be kind of interesting to if it has little bubbles in it somewhere. And then they pop and leave little circles. So it seems to be drying fairly quickly. cleaning this off so I can lay my book down the other way and not um, get anything on it. It's still a little bit damp in places. 
So I'm going to make sure it doesn't stick. And I'm going to do the inside. I'm doing this side too, just so that the paper has equal treatment. I'll go ahead and um, dry that off and uh, make sure both sides are dry. While the cover dries, I thought I might as well um, use these printouts. I think this one for the inside cover. I'll use these and these and I can um, start making some pages with them. So this is a We Are Memory Keepers planner punch board. You can adjust the little uh, punches for whatever kind of system you have. So I made my template. on this, get rid of the white edges. And so this is the first time I'm working with stains by Patty Pockets. And I could probably use it to glue this down, but I think I'll just use what I'm used to using. I'll use the PVA glue. Our insides are glued on. I think that's pretty cool. So we need to find those holes that we poked in last week. And once again I'm going to let this dry with my weights on it. Take these off now. Oh, those things are heavy. I 
here is our book cover. Now we're ready to add our mechanism. Take those out. So I just take off the screw and it has a little uh, receiver at that end. Not sure what that would be called. It has the function of a nut, but doesn't look like a nut. And that goes through the holes. Now I need to clean that hole out a little bit. It's getting clogged up with the paper. And then this seems to be um, usable either way, but I have found that one side opens and the other side doesn't really do much of anything. You have to close it this way, but this one opens better, so I'm more likely to want that at the bottom. And I'll put this on here. And then I just put these little screws back in. I think I'll get a little screwdriver and make sure those are tight. This was a little hammer that my mother bought many, many years ago. And it's pretty cool because you open it up and there's a screwdriver in there. And you open it up and there's a smaller screwdriver. And you open it up and there's a smaller screwdriver. And there's a smaller screwdriver. I've never seen one since. I've seen similar ones, but not quite as nice as this one. This one's made of brass and uh, this looks like steel. I don't know what this is, some sort of forged metal or something, or molded metal. But uh, I think that's pretty, pretty cute. So I'm just going to hold the little nut at the bottom and Tighten this. And I'll put this back together. So there's a little tiny one. The next one. And this goes on there. And then the next one goes on there. How's that for conserving space and keeping everything in one place? I thought that was cool. I think I'll first make two pages out of this heavier cardstock. And it helps to have one in the front and the back to help lift the pages. And um, it's loose leaf, so if I don't like them, I won't use them. cut these on my guillotine cutter which is on the other side of my room. I cut these eight and a half by five and a half. I can put that on my template too. Actually it should be width by height. When I worked in the printing industry everything was uh, measured width by height. That way if if you saw a measurement you knew what they were talking about. So width by height. Now I'm not sure if my puncher will go through these holes. I'm not sure. It may not even fit. There it goes. Let's see. Ah! That's kind of scary. I wonder if I should use 
try a hand punch. This would be fun. I could do this like this. Or I could do... Well, I would like to put the the holes on the cut side, but I can... I could glue the cut side, so that would be a good piece. Here's a piece of lined paper cardstock. That would be good. It's shorter, but that doesn't matter. Here's some atlas. This reminds me, I have a bunch of book pages that I uh, took apart from some of the books of, that were my mother's. And I made them into bundles. I haven't listed them on my Etsy shop, but maybe I'll do that. So these are the book pages. I cut several pages. And then I have a few scraps left over that I can make pockets with and things to hold my recipe cards. So let's start with this paper. And let's see, how do I want this? Do I want it like in the center? Or do I want it at the top? I'll just put it in the center. I've been punching away when it occurred to me it would be a lot easier to use this as the template. And with these index pages I'm going to, I cut them long, I'm going to fold them up into a pocket. And uh, the cardboard, so it's easier to get right where I need to go without accidentally making the hole the wrong size. And then I cut the window envelope, and I cut it uh, about half an inch longer. And I'm going to trim off that half inch here, and I'm going to fold this over to seal the envelope. And the other side of the envelope, I cut the right size, and I'm going to punch it on the open side. Slightly shorter, but it's good enough for a junk journal. So now I'm going to work on this page, and I want it to be five and a half wide. I'll put this on the spine at five and a half. my art glitter glue in the other room so I'm just going to use the PVA glue. These I'm just going to glue up the pocket. Let's 
So I could uh, ink around these two, or I could cover them with um, decorative papers. Okay, so now we have a base of a journal. It's started, and I can just work on it as I like. I will um, decorate the pages. I will add some recipe cards to it. So we have a pocket here. We have this big pocket here. Alberta, Canada. I've been there. I enjoyed that trip very much. Uh, some more old recipes. salad recipes. I can put in some more of these uh, lined pages. And there's a recipe photograph. There's the east side of the world. And put a pocket in here. It's got another pocket there. I could put a thumb hole here like that. And on the other one, I've got these uh, vintage wine labels here. I've got another pocket, the thumb hole. I can decorate this. Saskatchewan. I haven't been to Saskatchewan. Quebec. I haven't been to Quebec. I'm keeping my template in here, and then I'm using this as a template too. That makes things easier. Thanks for watching. Have a great day crafting. Bye-bye.